And breaking tonight at 6, the Charlotte City Council voting yes to bringing the RNC to Charlotte. That motion passes for um, the actions as stated by Mr. Mitchell. The vote coming after hours of debate. In the end, six council members voted yes and five voted no. The yeah. oh, sorry, the hours long debate featured hundreds of speakers standing up to make their voices and opinions heard. Emotions, of course, running high inside and outside the government center. Dozens of protesters rallied outside, chanting and holding signs, some in favor of bringing the convention to the Queen City. Others, though, of course, opposed. We have crews covering all angles of this breaking news story tonight. Kendall Morris will have more on the protest. Test. But first, let's check in with Rad Berkey for the latest on the vote and what it means going forward. Rad? Well, it means if the Republicans on Friday want to hold their convention here in Charlotte, the Charlotte City Council essentially says, come on, we're ready for you. As you say, the vote was very close, six to five in favor of allowing the Republicans to come in and begin to negotiate some early contracts. As you said, it was a very emotional debate this afternoon, more than 100 members of the general public expressing their views before the council began their own debate. I want to play you some of that debate. We'll start with Braxton Wynn. Winston first, and then followed by Julie Iselt. Braxton will talk about Donald Trump and why he decided to vote no. Julie Iselt, a Democrat also, will explain why she wanted to vote yes. Here it is. You see, I don't really see him as a Republican. I see him as a human avatar of white supremacy. I've decided to support this bid because we've been a lot, through a lot in the past, just the two and a half years that I've been on council. It just feels like we're constantly fighting. So in the end, again, the council votes six to five. What this means is the city manager will begin to negotiate contracts with the RNC, but we're sort of putting the cart before the horse because the Republicans do meet in Austin later this week. That's when they will make the formal offer we expect to Charlotte. We, of course, will follow it all for you. Reporting live at the Government Center, Rad Berkey, NBC Charlotte.